What's up, ladies and gents? My name is Malcolm, also known as Beta, and I'm bringing you guys gameplay walkthrough of the game everybody hates every single year since 2011, Call of Duty Blops 3. I'm still, I'm actually pretty excited. I mean, I'm a, I would defend Call of Duty to the day I die. I'm huge Call of Duty fan. You guys could call me a casual noobs, whatever. I enjoy playing Call of Duty every single year. I look forward to playing Call of Duty every single year. So get your picks forks ready. I'll get my shields ready and my cock, uh, cods ready. We're going to throw down. Anyways, ladies and gents, before we get started, if you guys could please um, leave a like. You guys like what you see. Uh, share my content, my videos, my channel to all your friends, family, cats, and dogs, whoever, who nots. Subscribe for more content. It helps out the channel a lot. And follow me on Twitter at Beta, B-A-Y-T-U-H. Oh, and I recently start streaming uh, streaming on Twitch. I've been doing some Halo 5 stuff. I'm probably going to start doing some Black Ops 3 stuff, some Fallout 4, Rise of Tumor, Just Cause 3, so forth and so on. Uh, you guys can catch my streams um, at uh, twitch.tv slash Beta, B-A-Y-T-U-H. And without further ado, let's get started. CO. This is Egyptian Minister Saeed, taken hostage by NRC forces two days ago. After the uprisings in Cairo, they may want to make an example of him. Punish him. We're not going to let that happen. Just so we're clear, if this goes wrong, you never existed. The NRC are going to be here soon. We got about one minute to create the mother of all distractions. Copy that. Diverting traffic to runway 11. Cargo 4019er, we have a fuel fire on runway 19. Divert course for landing to runway 11. Please confirm. One solo. Confirm. On final to runway 11. All right, you're up. Okay. Hacking module in place. Recalibrating dead system targeting. Open the door. We got company. Dead manual override. Please select target. Input confirmed. Targeting parameters accepted. Oh. All is good down here. Possible malfunction at your end? Fire now! Firing! Dead system engaging target. Firing. Open the door! Shit! Get down! Let's get this done! Taylor, the version is in play, Heard is down. Confirmed. The sentries are leaving their post to respond to the crash. Proceed to the package, make the grab before it breaks, or gets broken. We're on it. See you at the RP. Roger that. Yeesh. What is going on with me? Hold up, I'm gonna have to pause right quick. Alright, and on pause. While they're busy dealing with the crash, these uniforms should allow us to slip by unnoticed. As long as we don't have to talk to anyone. So keep your mouth shut. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. I had to change my sensitivity. I, I guess the they stations across the way in the tunnels. Shut Once up, Hendricks. We'll trying to talk right now. 
Heads can't. and weapons down. Keep it cool till we make the grab. I'll this, follow your lead. This dude would be an awesome James Bond. Anyways, I usually play on sensitivity two, but I'm uh, not two, three, like three or four. But now I have to. You guys know I got like shaky fingers, shaky thumbs. So I have to change my horizontal sensitivity to two and my vertical to three. So I don't freaking lose control. Oh, sorry, I had to pause again. <laughs> I switched my uh, button layout. I usually play on tactical, but now since I've been playing a lot of Halo Five, I my um my my melee in Halo Five is the right thumbstick, so I had to switch it to that instead of tactical. Seems more comfortable nowadays. So I can put on that MLG Pro, so I can get into the F A Z E clan. Almost spelled it wrong. Taylor, we're at the security station. Moving to secure. I hear you, Hendrix. Come on. Come on, go. Let's do this. Ready when you are. Oh, your name's just the player. I'll kill the alarms on this floor. Get plugged in and locate the minister. Right here. Taylor, scanning for package. Waiting for a hit on facial recognition. Other hostages? I thought it was only the minister. Yeah, so did I. Poor sons of bitches. The NRC are known for their brutality. Ugh. Taylor, did you know there were other prisoners? The minister is the only priority. Understood. Check the next feed. Are we just going to leave them to be tortured? We have our orders. No match. That's him, the minister. He's being moved. We have to find out where they're taking him. Ooh. Bingo. Match confirmed. Moving to secure. ETA? Two minutes. Two minutes. I'll be timing you. What does that say, RPD? Son of a bitch was never funny. You sound like the voice of experience. Trust me. I am. But that's how RIPD. Okay, movie. Ooh, did I get him? Okay, I might be regretting switching my thing too. So I like Do do people even drop shoot anymore? Drop shotting anymore? Is that a thing? Could somebody tell me in the comments or something? Ooh, achievement. Yay me. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think that's a thing anymore, drop shooting. I remember that was a... I remember that was a, like a huge thing back... I think like I think it kind of ended in the Black Ops 2 days. I really didn't see a ghost or advanced warfare. On me. Or maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. I'll take point. You breach observation. Sir, yes, sir. Is my mic recording right now? Yeah. Okay. I see the levels. Got me scared for a second. Interrogator has his back to the door. 
Two sentries inside. Their guards down. You are cowards. On my mark. Three. Two. Go! We're here to extract you. Do as I say, and you'll make it through this. What about Lieutenant Khalil and the others? Sorry, no time. Khalil was a hero of the Cairo uprising. You know that makes him a valuable asset for their propaganda. They will make an example of him. Fuck! All right, let's go. Yeesh. Okay, I decided to switch my thing to tactical. Hey, this one, get the door. I'll cover. Oh. I'll cut the poor bastard down. Minister. Khalil. Uh, Hendrix. Can you fight Khalil? Always. We'll grab a weapon from the locker room up ahead and reprogram it to match your biometrics. Uh oh. Come on, move. Sounds like you're finally on to us. Let's move. Taylor. Package plus one, secure and inbound. Plus one. Your orders were to extract the minister. His name is Lieutenant Khalil. Sound familiar? Get moving. We'll see you topside. Depot ahead will be heavily guarded. Get ready to go loud. Sweetness. I'm actually really interested in how this is going to be connected to Black Ops 2. I know Black Ops 1 barely did, but there were some subtle hints. Oop. Oh, Jesus, bro. It's getting a living mess out of me. That's our exit. Cargo elevator up ahead. That'd be cool if um, David Mason was in this game. He's like the boss of whoever the Black Ops team is. I don't know. Oh, God. Where's homeboy at? There we go. Oh yeah, just heads up. This first part's gonna be like an hour, hour and a half. Lord, now. We're dead if we do. Trust me, we're dead if we don't. Drop them. Move forward. Late. Your imaginary watch is fast. Nice to see you, Jacob. You too, John. You look you look different. You still seeing Rachel? That didn't work out. That's a pity. Mm -hmm. New blood? Gonna take care of them as good as you did me? That's not funny, man. We still set on our Xville? Charges are set. All right, good to go. Xville in 10. Diaz, you're on babysitting duty. Let's roll. Stay close. Detective Stabler? Jesus. First Kevin Space and now Stabler? Oh, I supposed to go up there? My bad. You're shredding. There's a lot of enemies around here. Get to Xville. 
I got these guys. Go! Our weapons are no good against that APC. We gotta bring down that VTOL. Aim for the missiles! APC is down. That's actually pretty dope. Jesus, I was close. Try and keep up, all right? That technical's mine. Give me some cover fire. Oh, I was about to blow it up. Oh, I thought you had infinite sprint in this game. Guess not until you get your power suit or whatever. Heads up, we have multiple hostiles inside the comms room. Killing lights. What? You expect us to fight in the dark? Something like that. Sending tactical feed to your HUD. Ooh. Remember, they ain't got the night vision. Take it slow. Pick them off. Oh. Use your advantage. Disabling tactical feet. Man, I need to get that stuff in my house. You don't got no windows in the apartment. Or just one. Now what? Vito's got us pinned down. Easy, hold your fire, he's mine. Taylor, oh. Alpha 2 team is rejoined for Xville. Comes easy now, doesn't it, Taylor? Damn it, that Extract is the satellite tower. We'll commandeer vehicle and get you to extraction. You didn't answer me, John. Keep up. Secondary routes just ahead. Oh, that was close, and his arm just fell off. Take it from here. Those other hostages we saw, you can get them out. 
Not a mission priority. It may not be a mission priority, but there are still people, damn it! Or have you changed so much that you've forgotten what that feels like? All right, change of plan. Hendrix, your team will escort the minister to the extract. We'll go back and get the hostages. More robots. Yeah, don't worry about them. We're built to handle them. Go on, get out of here. Go! How do I get on? I got the wheel. Get on the turret. No problem. Get ready. We got a shitload of grunts moving on our position. Jesus. Keep fire on that VTOL. Uh, oh, that VTOL. Do not try this at home, kids. Uh, I don't even know where you will find this thing at. Oh, is this shooting rockets? Dude, that is awesome. Hopefully in multiplayer they bring back uh ooh voice crack. Whatever. But hopefully in multiplayer they bring back um that whatchamacallit, that one attachment. It, it was Dragon Fire? It was either Dragon Fire or Dragon Breath. That was dope in Black Ops 1. But they, they took that out. Uh -oh. They also freaking took out the blood and gore in Black Ops 2. I forgot, did they have it in Black Ops 1? I knew they had it in World at War. Someone in here? No. Oh, I can't see. Freaking blind as a damn bat right now. How long does it take for him to strap a seatbelt on? Okay, 
Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You outsmarted them. Achieved our objectives. A man's always gonna be better than machine. Unfortunately, you sustained life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? Hey, still with us? Welcome back. Taylor? Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What's happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you've got a long way to go. <laughs> RPG! 11.30 a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I want to talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapons hot. Get ready! Get ready.
Your D and I can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it to tactical mode. Got movement. Like opening your eyes for the first time, right? All right, use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter says you can do it. Not bad, newbie. Not bad. Attack mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red? Move. Threat cover! DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, pow, your brain is toast. But these, these fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open.
blast from the generator has fried your drone. Come on, let's go. Grab fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Suppressors, second level. If you want to get creative, you can use remote hijack on those turrets. Nice going. Now turn it back on them and tear them up. Use your environment. Shoot down those zaps. Cyber abilities don't come for free. It takes a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. hideout is just ahead. Once inside, interface with the central console. Pull any data you can. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in and tell me what happened. Like I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts. I lived it all over again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. The shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. We just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. What happens now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside. At Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. Took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those mm. robots. So, what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome, train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciate it. 
And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now, pick up the trail. Heads up, hostile, second floor. He's running scared, not sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. You're a smart one, New Blood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. He's heading into Old Zurich. Move. All right, activating a new cyber ability. System paralysis. Nice going, new blood. Nice going. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. They take a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. gonna get away if you don't pick up the pace. Take them down. Here we go. Don't lose him now, newbie. Grab him, new blood. your chance take him down didn't work out so well huh I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper you can't let that happen not before you get the information we need I don't think he's in any condition to talk he doesn't have to he has a DNI Buried beneath layers of security protocols, a subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a but coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. You said it yourself. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnels to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on.
You're taking heavy fire! That's our backup! The ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. For their sake, they really wish they hadn't. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet Diaz a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. But remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over, you owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. You got a new cyber ability to play with. Immolation. Give it a spin on those enemies ahead. You immolated the shit out of them. Just like your other core systems, you select your loadout. Use these systems to seize the tactical advantage, whatever the opposition. Okay, I've loaded a second cyber ability into your core. Fireflies, a swarm of incendiary nanobots. Let them loose and see what they can do. Nice work. They're using smoke grenades! Switching to your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or in smoke. How about that? Now you never have to worry about what's lurking in the darkness. That's how you get shit done! Nice work. Taking the 
mechanic bay below. New blood. Looks like they got into the water treatment plant through here. On me. Good hunting. Interface with that door for me. What is this place? This. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how they got the explosives on board. Go interface. The robots. They hacked the security robots. They brought the explosives on board. Yeah. <sighs> you want to hear something ironic? The reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. And if it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me, they'll consider you as much. Takedown is another one of your cyber abilities. Try it out on those bots. Watch your flank. They're coming through the windows. That's how you take an enemy down fast.
Nice takedown, right on the butt. Keep pushing up, you've almost located the explosive. The whole thing's booby-trapped. If I hack it, try to move it, or detach the car, it's gonna blow. It's too much! Even with a computer in my head! There's no time! It's actually very simple. Wait. This is a maglev train. If I reverse the polarity on just this car... As good as can be expected. I expect better. You should know that. Welcome back. You're being prepped for surgery now. It's gonna be okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. The increasing prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendrix? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. 